You have probably by now heard about the new two-pot retirement system that is coming into effect on the 1st of September. The reason for these changes is to improve retirement outcomes whilst providing members access to a portion of their retirement savings prior to retirement. This means that in the future you do not have to resign to access a portion of your pension if you urgently need money. However, by requiring a portion of the fund to be preserved until retirement, the government also aims to ensure members have sufficient income in their older years. While the two-part retirement system will be very similar for all retirement funds, when it comes to government employee pension fund members, we need to look at how this affects your years of pensionable service. The most important thing to know is that the implementation of the two-part retirement system does not impact benefits earned before the 1st of September 2024. Years of pensionable service earned up to the 31st of August will remain separate and will be referred to as vested service. The rules that currently apply will remain the same, which means that if you resign after the 1st of September, you will still be able to withdraw the value of the vested service. However, all years of pensionable service from the 1st of September will be split between retirement service and savings service. Two thirds of pensionable service will go to the retirement pot and be reflected as retirement service. One third of pensionable service will go to the savings pot and be reflected as savings service. This means in the future for every year of pensionable service, four months will be allocated to savings service and eight months allocated to retirement service. Members will receive a single benefit statement that separately reflects the benefits in each pot. So let's look at an example. This is an illustration of what a pension fund statement could look like 12 months after implementation. This assumes that the member earned 15 years of pensionable service up to the 31st of August 2024 and an additional year of service up to the 1st of September 2025. Assuming the member made no withdrawals, the member would have 16 years of service at the 1st of September 2025. The vested pot would reflect 15 years of vested service. The retirement pot would reflect eight months of retirement service and the savings pot would reflect four months of savings service. Now remember, there are two reasons for the two pot retirement system. One is to provide access to funds for emergencies and the other is to preserve funds for retirement. But what most people are interested in is how to withdraw funds before retirement. Members will be able to access any funds in their savings pots once a year. There is no maximum limit on how much a member may withdraw from the savings pot. However, a member must have a balance of 2,000 Rand or more in the savings pot in order to make a withdrawal. Of special interest to members is the once-off seed capital. So on the 1st of September, a special once-off transfer of seed capital will be added to the savings pot. This is an amount equal to 10% of the benefit value of your fund at the 31st of August. However, the amount transferred is capped to a maximum of 30,000 Rand. These funds will reflect as years of savings service in the savings pot. We will be doing a separate video to explain how these withdrawals work, the tax implications, as well as the impact on your years of service. When it comes to ensuring better retirement outcomes, funds in the retirement pot will not be accessible before retirement. This will ensure that when members resign or change jobs, they do not deplete the funds required for their retirement years. Prior to retirement, these funds will only be available upon death or ill health. If a member resigns, the retirement pot will be preserved within the GPF and will be paid out at retirement either as a deferred pension or if the balance is less than 165,000 Rand, this will be paid as a lump sum. Alternatively, a member could have the full benefit transferred to an approved retirement fund. But remember those years of vested service. All the years of pensionable service you may have earned up to the 31st of August remain accessible should you resign. In fact, 
Your vested part is payable to you in all forms of exit. Those rights are not lost. So please do not panic and think you have to resign before the 1st of September in order to access those funds. In the next video, we are going to explain what happens to members' funds should they resign after the 1st of September 2024.